What's up, everybody? Welcome to No Nets. We have a wild, wild guest tonight. Um, actually, it's not tonight. It, well, it is. It is. I, this is Saturday Night Taped. This isn't Saturday Night Live. This is Saturday Night Taped. Um, <laughs> it's coming out. It's coming out Saturday night, but we have the guest that we've been waiting for. I mean, truly one of mine and Giannis's uh, favorite comedians, and we sincerely mean that, Mr. Shane Gillis. Welcome to No Nets, my friend. Oh, thank you so much, man. I was actually uh, I was listening I, I was listening to some of your stand up today, Chris. I'll fuck you up, dude. Yeah, no, I'll fuck you up. Yeah, you got a snowball. I got a fuck snowball is tight, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, I didn't know you- they still made those. Yeah. It's good, Mike. It looks like they use it on the Death Star. This is good. <laughs> dude. Yeah, you know what? If you have a snowball, it means you had an unsuccessful podcast in two thousand and eight and you put it in the closet <laughs> and you're like, Oh dude, I need a mic. And you just went and grabbed it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, dude, I we appreciate you taking time uh, away from beating the shit out of your father to come do a podcast with <laughs> yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've, yeah, it was funny. You were talking about solving problems with fisticuffs, and it reminded me of this. I only have sisters. I only have two older sisters. But she had just lost a basketball game, mm-hmm. and uh, we were eating dinner that night, and I kept making fun of her. I think people in the student section were calling her fat. So I kept, I kept yeah. like repeating the chant. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then my dad was like, that's it. Settle this. And we, uh, we cleared out the living room and she was big. She played power forward. Like she played college basketball and yeah. I was in like fifth grade. And she, he was like, you guys need to settle this. We bare knuckle boxed yeah. in the living room. And I, just, I just remember her landing like stiff jabs and me being like, I can't hit her. Like I was like crying. So, <laughs> yeah. It really is. The Brothers McMullen is true. That really is the way Irish families solve problems with just a straight up bare knuckle fight in the living room. You guys moved the, you guys moved the dining room table. We moved the said, coffee right. table. And my dad was like, settle it. And she had just played a game, dude. She was like in full fucking, she was in, she was ready. She was warmed up. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's how much your dad thinks about your hand skills that he, he, he wanted you and your sister to shoot the fair one. <laughs> well yeah. she, was, no, she was like seven years older than me it was uh, not fair. right i um yeah i think uh i think let me ask you this have you did you ever you ever when you were younger you ever have a sexual encounter with your sister <laughs> what <laughs> it's wild fans are wild they want to know <laughs> oh. no <laughs> no i'm kidding if she was, was hotter say, christy i was about to say you got a cousin who tried to throw you out of a window too i mean you you got it you got you guys come from yeah. tough families where the women they they can fucking tough. hold their own in a fist of cups yeah, yeah they can beat the shit out of each other that's good though to have tough women in the family it's too bad we don't have a woman president and we would have been a better country <laughs> and we wouldn't be involved in this um you know what you should have said to her you should have said if she beat you up in the fist fight you could have said you know what yeah you're a pretty good fist fight but you're still a fatty on the basketball court <laughs> yeah <laughs> i probably did i probably screamed something like that when i cried and ran to my room off the steps <laughs> you're still fat <laughs> dude and your, hair, and, and your hair's growing and you had the best quarantine haircut uh that you posted it was a 10 oh. out of 10 that was, uh, that was a real mistake i let uh doug stanhope and his friends shave my head while we were hammered that's and great. Uh, the hangover guilt waking up the next day was Oh, was yeah, that's crazy. right. You, like, went to Doug Stanhope's house, and you actually – how was it being on a flight? People want to know what it's no, like being on I an drove. airplane. Oh, you I drove, drove to Arizona? I drove across the country, yeah. <laughs> how was that? <laughs> It sounded like a great idea until I hit like the, like day two. I was like, this fucking sucks. I'm going to kill myself. And you went by yourself? I'm totally by myself. Wow. That's, yeah, that's why weird. Did you go down there? Why did you decide to go down there? I don't know. Me and Doug had been like, I don't know. Doug likes to drunk dial and uh, drunk text, which I guess is just him calling or texting at any time. But uh, <laughs> yeah, now that I think about it. That's yeah. just him calling. But no, it, like we talk a lot. And then uh, I was telling him I didn't want to come home, home because uh, I didn't want to go home because my fucking sister has cancer now. I think that I won the fight. I fucking hit her with some body jabs. And she ended up getting breast cancer. But uh Jesus. <laughs> welcome I mean, to No Nets, everybody. That. Welcome to No Nets. No <laughs> Nets, welcome. I mean, maybe we don't even have to do the show. We just let Shane talk and the show will happen <laughs> yeah, organically. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. ruin my I'll ruin my career again eventually in this podcast. Yeah. But no. Now, uh yeah, so I didn't want to come home and he was just like and I didn't want to go to New York City. So he was like, uh, just come out here. And every night we'd get like hammered and be like, Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna do it and then wake up and 
be like, yeah, oh, it's going to suck. And then one day we just, you know, just kept talking enough shit. He was yeah, like, dude. you're not going to do it. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll do it. Well, look, man, you know, like we're, we're, you know, we're so happy to have you. And it's one of those things where it's like, now I hope that as all this time has went by, people realize that you were fucking right about the Chinese all along. I mean, look what they did to us. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> you know? So, um, yeah. So, no, it, um, sucked. it sucked. I made a joke like defending Chinese people. That was the joke I got fired for. Yeah. I, I was like I actively defending Chinese people. Yeah. And now, now fucking look at where we're at. So whatever. You told, yeah. The, you're, you were totally misquoted. And when you look, <laughs> listen to the whole thing, you were doing a character piece saying what they said back then. Yeah, yeah but I mean, it wasn't good, but it's like, well, I mean, who gives a f- I don't know. I don't care. It was good. It was it's great. great. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. To me, dude, all my friends, they think they call you fucking Nostradamus. You could see into the future or something because you knew. You knew eventually you'd be fucking vindicated. Notre Dame, dude. Come on. Dude. Love it, dude. <laughs> Um, okay, so this show, No Nets, we have some qu- fans write in some questions. Um, they get progressively harder. Um, there's different levels. Basically, listen, if you answer, if you don't want to answer any question, you can always pass. Um, we just have a good time. You don't have pressure to feel, uh, you know, to answer anything. And uh, it's, it's usually pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. And at the All end, right. we're going we're gonna to figure out you're either going to be one of four categories. You're either going to be Poughkeepsie wild, which means you're the top level wild. You're going to be <laughs> fucking wild, which is where everyone seems to be hovering around right now. You're either going to be woke and dope. Or you're going to be a total stone cold FF. I'll tell you right now, before we even start, there is no way Shane Gillis is going to come close to stone cold FF. Well, what's, Shane the, Gillis, what's, what's FF? Uh, it well, it means uh, we, you know, we're well. Is this going to go out to YouTube or is this I just wait, on does Patreon? It mean, does it, it go, like is yeah, the first no, word? Let's, just, let's be safe. It means it means a fat fuck. But you can use your imagination for another word. That F is the first can, word fucking. First no. word. First word's fuck. Second word is is fudge, fuggy yogurt. All right, I got yogurt. it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what it. Yeah, that's what an FF is. It's what I called uh, my dad the other day. Good, and he probably deserved it. He well, he did. Yeah. So um. So now, why so did you call him? Like, did, did he did he finish off your Coors Light without you knowing about it? <laughs> no, I forget why. It was crazy. It was a crazy reason, and I immediately apologized. It was a slight. It was a very small what, what, insult. What was he like tearing up because your sister has cancer and you're like, yeah, you <laughs> fucking fat. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, he was definitely uh, an FF during, yeah, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, all right, let's go. Let's start off. Yanni, do you want to hit him with the first question or do you want me to start it off? I'll hit him off with the first question. I'll hit him off with the first question. Our first round, this is the Woken Dope round. This is just fun. I feel like we've already started – uh, wilder now we got to work our way backwards to the funner ones <laughs> yeah we got probably shane may be, end up being the king of this i already feel it first question yeah. comes from our fan and his name is dan your average philly potato monkey eating <laughs> chucky charms go iggies that's his no, name go eagles go eagles oh, go eagles sorry about that dan your average philly potato monkey eating cucky charms go eagles is his patreon name great and he says uh shane if you had to eat Giannis's ass to cure coronavirus, would you do it? Now, I, I'm a Greek kid. I, I carry a lot of fumes in my, my – my ass looks like a Brillo pad. It's never 100% clean. Jeez. Uh, well, I don't, I don't think coronavirus is real, so <laughs> right. no. Okay. I think, it's okay. A, I think it's made up, dude. Yeah, I, I agree. No, I, I truthfully, the real answer is obviously yes. I'd have to eat your ass, but no, but you're not wrong with the first. It, it, it the Democrats made it up. We've been saying that on this podcast for two months, and will like you were vindicated in your words two years later. Will be vindicated <laughs> yeah. when the truth comes out about the Democrats. Um, would you right. do it to get the word? Just my question to, to piggyback. Would you do it to if the world would, were to know the truth that the coronavirus didn't exist but the only way they could get that truth is you had to eat, eat, eat my ass would you do it to let yes. them, yeah yes, I, mean, be hilarious. I, just, I just wanted the people to know you're a warrior for truth yeah i don't think that you know there, there wouldn't be anything sexual about it uh it would just be strictly business down there like yeah. if, if, one of us got, if one of us got hard during it it would that would end it i call yeah. it off i call off the dogs all right fair enough Fair enough. All right, here we go. Second question. Ryan from Boston, no fume potato monkey getting fizzy like Frank Rizzi. Um, he says, did, did you and your friends in high school have a few brews and cruise down to Lancaster to give Amish squeaks wedgies? 
<laughs> uh, no, but well, kind of. Yes, truthfully, I mean, we yeah. used to drive like if we saw them while we were driving, which you do every time you drive drive through there. You, yeah, you'd yell at them. You'd be like, you right. know, get a fucking get a job, you fucking losers. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, or like you turn up to- the music. Let yeah. them know. I would um I remember I went to Hershey Park once with all like my friends from home Fuck and like yeah. they, from him and like and like they were like you know the Amish people are always like waiting online you know like to they get <laughs> take the, they get on the rides and stuff they'll ride yeah, the they rides wear in their, the park. their dresses in the fucking yeah. on the water rides <laughs> and my friend and I remember my friend Patty was like why there's all fucking Hasidic Jews everywhere but they look and smell <laughs> different I'm like they're not they're Amish yeah, the Amish, they do smell. They smell horrible. Well, I mean, they're working on farms like it's like it's the 1300s. It's like, babe, we got to get a John Deere plow to put on some electricity, you fucking weirdos. Dude, they also, I don't know if you know this, Rumspringer isn't like one year. You can stay on Rumspringer for like a decade. So right. some of them just party, dude. Some of them get yeah. rowdy. Yeah, dude, I fucked an Amish girl. Yeah, I was really? about to say, do you guys no. know? Do you my, ex, my, ex is, my ex is moved on from me. Now she's dating a Mennonite. <laughs> <sighs> Shit, uh, should have named him. <laughs> we, could, we can edit that out on Saturday. We'll edit that out. All right, his name. <laughs> <laughs> what a dumb fuck name. Yeah, he's a bitch. Yeah. All right. Is that the, is that the girl you brought to, uh, brought to Boston? No, no, no. That girl's girl great. You should her. marry that girl. Yeah, you've been saying that. Don't, I'm I not going to let girl. her hear that. She is great. I do love her. I love that girl. Yeah. No. <laughs> I just got good vibes. All right. My third question, Yanni. Third question comes from uh, Chrissy's Big Butt, uh, Patreon member Chrissy's Big Butt. He wants to know, uh, he wants to know, Shane, what's your position on the independence of Ireland? This is sort of a, I guess this is a history question, and he wants you to, he wants you to get into character here and uh, support this position. What's your position on the independence of Ireland, and why was it such a bad idea? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Basically, you got to advocate for the British and become the enemy of the Irish people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's not that hard to to say why it was a bad idea. The Irish, uh, you know, they, they do stink. I don't know if you've met Irish people. Yeah, They're pretty yeah. like if any time I've talked to an Irish person, I've regretted it. It's always just like, ah, let me tell you something about you that's wrong. It's like, why don't you focus on your country? They're always talking shit on America. Yeah, I don't I know. If you know that. Yeah. Fuck them, dude. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad with the, the British did the right thing by basically committing genocide for a thousand years. <laughs> Agreed. I agree. <laughs> All right, there you go. That's Yo, good. I was talking to I was talking to this Irish kid uh, yesterday, and it turns out you can't say. <laughs> I was asking him like what words were bad in Ireland. Like you that's like close to their N word. Really? Interesting. <laughs> yeah. What did you mean? It's like people that live in well, they were like people that live in travelers. So fucking trailer trash. Yeah. Dude, Irish well, trailer you, trash. You know what, man? For, listen, you can't say <laughs> but Shaney, as long as you can say but to go. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can you can definitely say that in Ireland. You could say that anywhere until I fucking said it. Yeah, you can say I was the first guy to get fucking nailed on that. Yeah. Which is crazy too, because now as SNL goes on, like there's gonna be the funniest people are the ones doing these podcasts and you know the, the, the eventually people are gonna start getting cast that have crazy shit they've said in their past and they're just gonna have to let it slide. Yeah, they should have gave me a pass. They should have been like, all right, that was the last one. There, When it comes to slurs and shit, there needs to be a fucking, all right, last one. Yeah, yeah. You I know, agree. like the, the fucking yellow flag on the on the track, dude. Just be like, that was it. Caution. I, I yeah. agree. Caution. All right, here I we go. I didn't know. <laughs> here we go. Next question. We got um, Ryan from Boston, no fume potato monk. Oh, this is again, Ryan. This is the same guy. Same Ryan guy. From, same guy. Yeah. Good this question. Is no, no fume potato monkey getting fizzy like Frank Rizzi. Um, Lauren Michaels, is he a screwed in kid or an FF? Meaning, is he a cool yeah. dude? Is he smart, cool dude? Or is he, you know, is he an FF? Uh, truthfully, he is fucking cool. I like Lauren a lot, but it'd be a lot funnier if I said he was an FF. No, but it's <laughs> no, 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 truth. We're no. going for the truth here. Truth, no, people, truth. And people love the scoops. People love the true scoops. Yeah, yeah. Truthfully, Lauren Michaels is the fucking man. And the whole time he was like, every time I'd go to a meeting with him, he'd be like, I think we're going to be all right. And I'd be like, no way. <laughs> like, all right. I was in a meeting. No, actually, I called somebody an FF on a podcast. Right. So I was in a meeting with him and he was like, it sounds like you're called. All right. Beep this out. 
beep this name out. He was like, sounds like you called. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit, dude, I'm definitely fired. And he was like, no, I think we can get past this. <laughs> I was like, You're nuts, dude. Yeah, yeah. he's down, dude. He's wild. He's wild. <laughs> Yeah, because and it, you know what? If you come up and like you you got Belushi and you got all those guys there just like blowing rails in the office at three in the yeah, morning man. and fucking hookers, like a kid saying a word on a podcast, you feel like you could probably get through it. Yeah, he was he was significantly more confident than me the entire time. Like every time I'd be like, Dude, I'm definitely fired. I was like, I'm definitely fired. At the time, I was like, look, I'll just go on Joe Rogan. I'll have a career regardless. And the call never came. Joe let me down, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Shane, I just want to remind you that, it, you know, it is we're going to edit this for, for like the big release on Saturday. But this is going live to some Patreon members. So just oh, FYI. Fuck. Just <laughs> FYI. <laughs> uh, that, fuck it. No, but at the Patreon, as you guys, they're like our loyal fan base. They're like a they're family. Cool. They're not going to do anything. Yeah, they're cool. They're sure. excited. They're fans sure. of yours. Random they're huge fans. Yeah, we all trust random dudes on the internet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, they're random fans. One of their Patreon names is Seth Simon. This is the real Seth Simon, but it's a joke. <laughs> we can't trust Chrissy. Don't get Chrissy if I bust a nut on your foot while she slam me in the butt. Who can we trust? What? Who's that? Chrissy, don't get pissy if I bust a nut on your foot while it's, you slam me in the butt. <laughs> that's, that's one of our Patreon names. Yeah, yeah I trust that yeah. person. Yeah, you got okay. somebody who, who who's named that. Let's do two more from Woken Dope, Giannis, right? Because there's there's or do you want to go get through no, all? Uh, this? Yeah, yeah, we could do that. This one's a good one. Jay Venetia, let me sit in your lappy while you bang me with a strappy. Yabara <laughs> wants to know who do you think you look like more, <laughs> Haley Joel Osment or an overweight Tom Hanks? <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck. fuck. You do look like uh, Haley Joel Osment if you grew up and you I, know. Yeah, I get a lot of those. I get a lot. We I both, you know, we both have round, fat faces. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it depends. Haley Joel Osment. If I slim down slightly, I look like I could be in the Hanks family. Right. Yeah. But not Tom Hanks himself. I'll go Haley. I'll go present day Haley Joel Osment. Right. We got to ask go. Scott the fume thrower. Maybe Chrissy, ask him Scott the fume. The next one, I, I, I want to hear what he's got to say. Okay, here we go. From Scott the fume thrower. This is your last one in round one. You are tasked with writing a musical about the pandy. What is it called and what is the plot? A um, fucking musical? Yeah. Yeah, or a musical uh, or about the pandemic. Shen Yun. Or what's that fucking thing? Oh, yeah. All over. Yeah, I always see that. On, <laughs> yeah. I always see, Whatever that is. I always see that on the bus, on the bus terminal uh, windows yeah. or trains. Yeah. Shen Yun, that's actually, instead of the, I think people, the new conspiracy needs to be instead of 5G towers. I think those Shen Yun billboards are the ones emitting it. 100%. I can yeah, I the, agree with that. That's where the COVID's coming from. <laughs> you just yeah. made my wife laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No one knows what that play is. That's yeah. a perfect fucking, uh, is that a play? I don't know. I don't know. No one knows, dude. It's just emitting COVID. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably not a great take. <laughs> no, quite, I mean, no, well, you're probably fucking right, man. <laughs> I hope, yeah, I hope we can inspire people to start. <laughs> Never mind. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. That was a nice, flawless first round. What do you say, Giannis? I think I think it was. Uh, what, what we, this is show's called No Nets. I think that was All Nets right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Round two. Fucking wild. Um, from dead. From uh, dead like a zombie. What are your current thoughts on the China America situation playing out with Taiwan and also with Mike Pompeo and Donald Trump? Wow, I mean this. What the, I mean, you, I mean, who the fuck? I'm, who is this? Anderson Cooper? Who the fuck is writing this shit? Look, I've I've supported Taiwan from day one. Uh, I was expecting a little more backup from them when I got in trouble. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Maybe some Taiwanese with some umbrellas out front of fucking Thirty Rock. That would have helped. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think uh, no. I all of this makes me very happy that Trump is president. Literally every major issue, it makes me laugh so hard that a fucking moron is going into every <laughs> meeting, just like, all right, what are we doing? And they explain something. <laughs> he just he's lost. He's got no yeah. shot. Yeah. And it's very fun. It's fun to watch. Yeah, Dude, that is. <laughs> you know, you uh, you could have just said that. You could have been like, hey man, I'm coming from the I'm coming from Taiwan's perspective. You guys got this yeah. all wrong. Yeah. Look, like there's it. a lot of things I could have and should have said. Right. Wow. What can you do? do <laughs> Supporting Taiwan would have been hilarious. I mean, what would you rather be doing right now? Would you rather be on SNL or doing Zoom with me and Giannis? 
<laughs> I, I mean, uh, truthfully, it'd either be Zoom with you two or Zoom with the cast of SNL. So Zoom with you two. There yeah. you go. Thank That's you. Cast, the cast is probably intolerable. Yeah. 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 I don't know them. I never met any of them. Some of them seem nice, but uh, yeah. can you imagine trying to hold a conversation with like woke? Like they t- I think they talk like they're still, they're being recorded at all times. Right. Like every, like a personal conversation. It's like, it's no, gross. we don't say that. That's not. <laughs> all right. Shut up. Anyway. Yeah. I, also, right. I, yeah. I also think like quickly, like it must be just horrible to be in a writer's room and have to worry about your job every five seconds. Like people only probably used to do that because they had to, or wanted that because they had to. Cause that sounds like a fucking nightmare. Yeah. It's rough. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next question. Yanni, you want to ask it? Yeah, sure. Next question from Chrissy Leak on the Greek Squeaks Cheeks. <laughs> if you and your significant other had a second child under China's one child policy, what would you do with it? I, I don't know. I'm a traditional guy. I'd fucking strictly put it in the river. Classic. <laughs> Isn't that the classic? I mean, that's what they call a Spartan special. Yeah. 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 You have yeah. to. I mean, what would you I, guys do? I mean, if it was a boy, I would try to hide it. But if it was a girl, I'd kick it off a hill for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have to. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'd fucking hide, I'd hide that thing in a, in a bread basket like Jesus put it down the river if it was a boy. But a girl? <laughs> Moses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too familiar with my Bible. But if it was a girl, fucking field goal kick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fucking out of here. Yeah, or your yeah. girl, I'd, I'd give it a, I, you could also give it a sex change and make it a boy, because what's the rule? The boys, the boy, you, can, you can't have a girl. What's the rule in China? You can only the have one child. You can only the have rule one is child. Uh, guys rock, boys rock, 2020. That's Chinese That's fucking policy, dude. It's just it's guys time. <laughs> yeah. yeah That's the, China, yeah. China rocks, dude. China is just dudes getting shit done right now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I fucking love it. And that can't compete. To, that's why they're pissed at Taiwan because they got a woman president. They're like, what are you fucking doing? Yo, Taiwan has a lady president? Yeah, that's what it is. It could oh, be a lady the boy. the boys, but- dude. The boys yeah. need to get in there and shut her down. Yeah. I switched policy. I'm China now. Uh, All now, right, here. <laughs> now China, as of 2013, if, uh, if either of the parents were the only child, they can have two children. Okay. Oh, All right. There you go. All right, here we go. This is from Josh and Johnny Cage, flawless victory over Liu Kang Lung. Um, Eliminate one continent and explain why. <laughs> like they all die? <laughs> yeah. You got to just get one out of here. You got to get one uh, out of here. And, a, and an explanation. It could be anything. All right. The, the correct answer is Antarctica. <laughs> right. That's and the then Australia answer. is the second correct answer. And then after that, you're in trouble. Yeah. Uh, and there would have been an answer I would have had. <laughs> Probably. But, yeah. Well, yeah, we, we already know what we already know what the answer is. We just wanted to hear you say it. Yeah. Uh, no, I'd get rid of all the fucking imperial capitalists and get rid of either Europe or North America. I'm sick of capitalism and uh, whites. There you go. Perfect answer. Me too. <laughs> yeah. We need to uh, seize the means of production. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 Perfect. Perfect answer. All right. Here we go. Last question. Okay, last question uh, from Dolph. Cute non-fruit, but will crack open the glutes Lombardi. <laughs> now, this one sounds like a little insight. You got a real fan of yours here who says, Shane, on episode 49 of Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast, which, by the way, check out that Shane's podcast, you mentioned that you did a poem for an ex-girlfriend in college. You clearly stated on the oh. recording that you definitely remember bars, but you were too much of a F to recite any for the dogs at the time. Now, years later, the hyenas are offering you an opportunity for redemption. Rise up, Shaner. Become great. Drop those bars. Hashtag it was a character piece. Hashtag suck your dick to all your enemies. Uh, fuck. Yeah. Um, yeah, all right. I had just, I had just started, like, reading for the first time in my life. So I... I was into like the basic, the most basic, but look, God damn, this sucks. The truth is, this is, this is brutal. Uh, I don't remember any specific, truthfully, I don't remember any specific lyrics, but it was about like, it was just combining all these books 
like character. Oh fuck me, dude! It's so bad. I can't. Next, I can't. You can't. Up bars? No. Oh, wow. It's so bad, dude. Wow. Okay. I don't. I don't know. I don't remember the lyrics. I just remember it was like combining. Listen, char- like I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. It's a stuck. pass is a pass. It pass. It's fine. It's no problem. It's it's <laughs> lingering though. She probably still has it, and that would bring me. To, that would. It's funny. Like what the what the podcast did destroyed my mainstream career. Her her releasing that poem would destroy my podcast career. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. Here All we right. go. Who All right, now uh, we, got, we go to the round three here. Okay, go ahead. Start off, Giannis. It's so a round three. This is the Poughkeepsie Wild. These are the questions, you know. Like we said, feel free to pass on anyone uh, that you don't want to answer, but you will be judged. Okay. Jay Venishi, let me sit in your lappy while you bang me with a strappy Yabara. Again, <laughs> this kid had some good questions because uh, he got picked twice. What word would you use to refer to a weak spot in a figurative suit of armor and why? <laughs> <laughs> so I think the question is that you guys are trying to get me to say <laughs> in the armor. <laughs> so the word you're looking for is definitely <laughs> clip it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got the, I don't, I don't, you know, I know what you guys are up to. Knock All right. Off. Well, that's, that's from, that's from, uh, that's from uh, the fans. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bullshit, <laughs> here we go. This next question is from Giannis's bean. Um, if you had to go on tour with Hannah Gadsby and you had to open your set with a catchphrase supporting lesbian rights and end it with a woke catchphrase, what would they be and why? Uh, you had to. You can't get out fucking, of it. Ah, quit your ripening. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you better not ripe. Knock it off. Yeah. <laughs> I've had a couple ripes. Don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Great. You call, how about you call that a ripe? There <laughs> <laughs> gets me too. That should be the name of her second her second special. Oh back. <laughs> All, right. All right. Giannis, this next one we gotta it's it's not updated. We gotta ask it in a different way. Do you remember how to ask it? Oh yeah. Yeah, I do. Um or we, we could just skip kids. it and just do three. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. That was, um, yeah. So that was, okay. So here it is. Um, here, you yeah. want to think about it and I'll ask the fourth one? Yes. Okay, here oh, we go. I got it right here. If you had okay. to perform for King John Um and make him smile or everyone in comedy dies, all right? And he picked you because he loves you. He's a big fan. <laughs> And he said you had to pick between Dan Soder or Big J Okerson. Who would you pick and why? Remember, you have to pick one or everyone fucking dies. So you got, the person's got to make him laugh. Which one of those two do you think would make, have a better chance of making King John un laugh? Ah, that's a tough one. I think, I think the, you got to go with uh, Big J on that because I'm just going off of his, affin- his, his affection for Dennis Rodman. I think he likes the piercings and, like, the gauge earrings wow. and the, whatever the fuck Big J wears, that goofy shit. Yeah. Uh, why is he wearing that? <laughs> I never realized. I didn't ever put that together. J dresses like fucking, like, goth Dennis Rodman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you got to go with J there. All right. All That's right. great. That's, That's a great, great answer. answer. And he told you why. Here's the last one. Here's the last thing from round three, Poughkeepsie's Wild. Maddie from Boston, I root for the Sox and don't like Cox, but make no mistake, I would still munch Chrissy's man box. <laughs> rank these countries, rank these countries in order. China, Japan, South Korea, Thailand, Vietnam. Explain your rankings using your best attempt at each country's accent. <laughs> it's quite stupid. <laughs> That's stupid. Uh... Wait, was Taiwan on there? No, China. Uh, we, we need to recognize Taiwan's sovereignty. We do need okay, to recognize so Taiwan was, number one. Taiwan number one. That's, a, that's, Taiwan. Appropriate. that's appropriate. Taiwan number one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Vietnam. Vietnam number two. I like they gave us what for. I like the way they fought. Yeah. Okay, you got you to give them credit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to do Vietnam. I forget. I, I only hear them ever like. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to fucking. Uh, You're right, though. They did take down a dynasty, man. They fought hard. Yeah, Vietnam is yeah. good. Was Japan on there? I'll give them three. Japan. Japan. And then South Korea. Japan's easy. It's just, oh, oh. 
It's just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all it's a re that's what they, they you fucking add a vowel at the end of everything you say that's that's like a japanese accent always just like exaboxu chris the stiffen oh you already have one dude this is what, what is, i'm saying why the Giannis fuck would it papa <laughs> why wouldn't they i mean dude do you understand does fucking snl understand if they would have put you on that very first episode and have you do these asian accents it would have been the best thing that ever happened it in really television. Would've. It, it really would have been. been. And it, it would have cured everything. It would have cured yeah. everything. It would have been chaos, dude. It, it would have been, been great. I would I would have obviously enjoyed going on SNL and be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like they introduced, oh. they introduced SNL's first Asian cast member and it's you doing Japanese accents. <laughs> Yeah, I just it's I was thinking about it because it's like you you accents can't be who's telling me you can't do accents. Yeah, I mean you yeah. can do an Italian this is what an Italian it's guy crazy. sounds like. Like a poo, I never understood. It's like you telling me a South Asian Indian immigrant doesn't sound like that? That's how he sounds. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing to, that fucking uh Louie joke was great about that. The fucking What'd he say? Uh a waitress was like, You order now? Or like something like that. And he was like, I order now. <laughs> like he like he was like I didn't want to correct her and be like these are the words you're missing I don't want to like you know <laughs> like correct her English right 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 all right um, yeah and then last China's last dude they, they have to be but okay. if they beat us they're number one That's yeah sure. they're kind yeah of, you know I'll kiss that Chinese ring immediately if they win yeah. what can you do yeah. this guys rock over there all right well that was that completed all three rounds with the oh, great nice. Shang- that was with the great Shane Gillis. And uh, we let the fans decide where you end up. But, you know, it's all fun and games so far. Santino's been ranked fucking wild. Dan Soda was fucking wild. Nikki <laughs> Glazer, I think she came in uh, as, a, as a woken dope, unfortunately. And it wasn't Who our fault. saw ball. that coming? Yeah. <laughs> I know. And uh, <laughs> Tim Dillon, we have to do a redo because we hadn't figured out the show yet. So, I mean, all great company. Uh, I mean, we've had such great, all funny people. Shane Gill is one of the best. We end every episode with the game of FF Roulette, uh, Chrissy versus you. Uh, <laughs> I explain the rules to you via text where you get three rounds. You go up against Chrissy. You look straight into yeah. the Zoom. He looks straight back at you. He is, uh, he is the champion of <laughs> FF Roulette. You get it. Whoever laughs first loses. I'm going to laugh smiles. right away. If he talks, I laugh. Okay. So, yeah, you may lose. So, here we go. Uh, Shane will let you go first since it, he's on his home court. FF Roulette. So, I'm going first? No, we're letting Shane go first. So, Shane's go ahead, Shane. the first name and then, because it, you know. We're saying, like, nice things to each other? The cutest, yeah. Yeah, the cutest thing Cute. you can think of to try to uh, make him smile. I mean, think about that fucking shaft. You got there a nice go. shaft? Yeah, I've been thinking up? about you, the skin of your shat. I'd like to see that thing slick. Mm. So what's up? Calling you, calling you slick shaft. I'd All like right. To see that. Listen, Shane. Whatever you say, honey. Hot stuff, but didn't break. You got to think of another one now, Shane. Oh Go wait, that's how it's going. That's yeah. how it's going. Slick it's a war one. now. Now it's a war. Slick shaft is about as good as I could get. I've, dude, I've seen that thing. Come that on, thing puppy. Just... Come on, puppy monkey. You could do something better. Close. Still, no, he's still. He's I'm still, not going to be able to come up with a a, a thing. You can come on, muffin. Me. Come on, you, fucking muffin, muffin muscle man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I didn't laugh. Yeah, 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 we got him. Yes, we did. <laughs> yeah. Mike, we heard Mike laugh. Mike laughed. He's the winner. <laughs> That's the bell. It's over. It's it. It's it. It's, <laughs> it's over. Chrissy wins that. He rede- yeah. Chrissy, you redeemed yourself because Dan Soder KO'd you in the first round. Dan Soder can me. He came out with Chrissy Kissy hips, and I got fucking knocked out flat. I thought we I, thought we, I, I must have misread that text. I thought we were just trying to play like gay chicken. Dude, it's yeah. Pretty well, much in a way. With cute, yeah, but, with cute names. Ah, I was just going to talk about how nice his dick was. Looks <laughs> Dude. <laughs> fucking tweet it out bro <laughs> tweet it out <laughs> well Shane thanks so much man everyone listen to your podcast where, where can the people find you tell them whatever you want oh yo I actually just booked a fucking show uh, hell yeah uh, I'm doing a show in like two weeks uh, Helium yeah. St. Louis Helium fuck yeah St. Louis the 4th 5th and 6th of June which uh, I'll probably do you think I'll get criticized for that no, no if it's open dude it's open 
Yeah. Anyway, fourth, fifth, and sixth Helium Comedy Club in St. Louis. Uh, Matt and Shane Seeker podcast. There you go. Thank you, Shane. It's a pleasure, Thank man. You Thank guys. you for coming on. Thank you, guys. And as great, always, man. you can find us at historyahenas.com, patreon.com, slash Bay Ridge Boys, iTunes. We got everything going on there. Get our, we got some new merch out. Historyahenas.com, baby. Follow Shane Gillis. Thanks, Shane. See Thanks, babies.